next on Betsy's Kindergarten Adventures. Gracie, come home! I couldn't help to think. Was it my fault Gracie went away? Was I spending too much time with Lurtle? The gingerbread boy came to life and ran away. Oh, well, that's impossible, isn't it? everyone. I hope you all had a fun weekend and are ready to start Animal Week here at school. Oh, yeah! I knew Mrs. O'Connor would have something great planned for us. She's the best. Good. Now I have a question for you. How many of you have ever wished you could have a dinosaur for a pet? Real life dinosaur? Cool. Do you have one here? Is that our new class pet? What? A dinosaur? I don't know if I would like that, Mrs. O'Connor. Sorry, Billy and Molly, but that would be impossible. You see, there are no dinosaurs left on Earth. They've been gone for millions of years. What? All gone? Not a single one left? Oh, no! Yes, Maria Scott is right. The dinosaurs are all gone. However, the next best thing to having a dinosaur for a pet would be to have a turtle. A turtle! Mrs. O'Connor, what does a turtle have to do with a dinosaur? Well, Betsy, a turtle is a reptile, just like the dinosaurs were. And they've been alive for over 200 million years. Some turtles were walking the earth when the dinosaurs were. Turtles lay eggs in a nest, just like the dinosaurs did. All right, class, now I want you to tell me what you know about turtles. A turtle has four legs, Mrs. O'Connor, two eyes, one head, and one shell. Right, Kenji. Does anyone know what turtles use their shells for? Oh, oh, me, me! I know, Mrs. O'Connor. I know. All right, turtles have shells so that they can hide inside of them if another animal is trying to attack them. She's right. And their shells are used to keep them warm. And my dad told me the coolest part of all about turtles. They have tugs, but no teeth. Ew, that is positively gross, Billy. That can't be true. He's absolutely right, Maria. Billy, stop that. <sighs> I know, Gracie, I know. Be patient. I'm trying to find your yummy little puppy treats. This store is so big, I can't find anything. I think the pet store is more of a Billy place. He should be here with us. He loves trips to the pet store, and I can see why. Mom, are we done yet? Teeny tiny little turtle, just like the one we're learning about in school. Oh, I just love him. Can I please, 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 please get him? Please, Mom. Oh, Betsy, I don't know. Another pet? We already have our hands full. What with Gracie and Kitty? Mom, you won't have to do a thing. I'll do all the work. I promise. I'll clean out his tank, I'll walk him, I'll feed him, I'll give him a bath. <laughs> oh, please, Mom, please, please, pretty please. I just need this cute little turtle. Isn't he perfect? Billy can help me, of course. I'm sure he'd love to. I'll call him as soon as I get home. Well, okay. He is pretty cute. 
Thanks, Mom. You're the best. All right, ladies, here you go. Enjoy your new pet. Not now, Gracie. I'm getting Lurtle the turtle ready to come home with us. I can't wait to get home and tell Billy. Can my friends come over and meet Lurtle tonight, Mom? Sure, honey. They are going to love you, Lurtle. Wow, look how cool he is. I love how he chews up that lettuce. He is so cute, the way he's drinking from his water bowl. He already knows how to crawl through his amazing toy log. You are so lucky, Betsy. Wait until we tell Mrs. O'Connor tomorrow. I know, he is so cute. The man at the pet store said that the turtles need lots of water, and he needs to get out in the sunlight a few times a week. And this book says the turtles have really good eyesight and strong noses. Oh, this is so great, Betsy. I'm almost as excited as when my dad brought home a slug collection for me. Slugs? Billy, that is so gross! Ah! After dinner. I'll take you out tomorrow night. Bye, Mom! <laughs> Hi, Mom. What's for breakfast? Good morning, honey. We're having your favorite blueberry pancakes. Ooh, yum! Just do me a quick favor and put some food in Gracie's bowl. Sure thing. Here, Gracie, time for breakfast. Gracie! Gracie! That's funny. Gracie always comes running for breakfast. Where could she be? Oh, dear. Bus driver Bob is here. Well, get your book bag, dear. Kevin and I will go look around the neighborhood. Don't be worried. We'll find her. I couldn't help but worry. Gracie had never wandered away before. I wondered where could she be? Well, hello there, Betsy. How are you on this fine morning? Wait, what's with the sad face? Well, you see, my dog Gracie didn't come to breakfast today, and we can't find her. Oh, I'm sure she just went out for a walk or something. She'll be fine. I had to do something. I needed a plan to find Gracie, and I knew I might need help with it. Good morning, class. I'm happy to see all of you this morning at Morning Circle. Now, does anyone have anything to share before we begin? I do, Mrs. O'Connor. Yesterday at the pet store, my mom bought me a new turtle, just like we've been learning about in class. Yeah, Mrs. O'Connor, Lurtle the Turtle is so cool. He is the best turtle I've ever seen. He can certainly eat. And he is actually pretty cute, too. <laughs> That's great, Betsy. Just remember, pets are a big responsibility and need lots of love, care, and attention. I couldn't help to think, was it my fault Gracie went away? Was I spending too much time with Lurtle? I was paying so much attention to my new turtle that Gracie ran off, and now we can't find her anywhere. Mom and Kevin are looking now, but they need help. Do you think the class and you could help me? Of course, Betsy. That's what friends are for, right, class? Yeah, sure. well, yeah, 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 yeah. help you. You can count on us, Betsy. So, what should we do first? Let's make missing dog signs and hang them all around the neighborhood. Thanks, you guys. I just know this will work. 
Okay, everyone, take your signs home today and ask your parents if you can hang them around your neighborhood. Let's use teamwork to help Betsy and her family find Gracie. Can we do it? I knew my friends would help. I just know that Gracie will be home by dinner time tonight. All right, I'm ready. Billy to the rescue! Here I come, Gracie! Yes, can I help you, young man? Yes, ma'am. You see, my friend Betsy has lost her dog, Gracie, and I was wondering... Uh, uh, that's a nice doggy you have there. Uh, nice doggy. <laughs> home yet? Not yet, you guys. I don't know where she could be. <sighs> hey, Betsy. Did we find her? <sighs> Is she home? <sighs> nope. We're oh, sorry, Betsy. We tried our best. Yeah, we put the signs out everywhere. I know, you guys. Thanks so much for all of your help. We'll find her. I just know it. I'm not going to give up. And from now on, I'm going to take good care of all of my pets, Gracie, Kitty, and the Lurtle. They all need love and attention. Gracie has always been such a good friend to me. When she gets back, I promise to never skip her nightly walk and to play with her every day after school. Gracie, you're back! Where did you go? I'm sorry, Gracie. I'll never ignore you again. Gracie, welcome home. Boy, are we glad to see you. Gracie! I love you so much. I missed you. I'm so glad you're home. <laughs> One of the things I really like about kindergarten is that you never know what to expect each day. Weekends are fun, but I like school better.
<gasps> Kitty! No! Gracie! No! Kitty, get off the table! Oh, no! Kevin! No! Outside, Gracie. Okay, Kitty, you're next. Oh, my goodness. Mom, I have knots in my shoelaces. Oh, Betsy. What? Didn't you see that big puddle of chocolate syrup you just stepped into? Huh? Chocolate syrup? Hey, what's chocolate syrup doing on the floor? <sighs> now, please go put on some clean socks. Okay. Sorry about stepping in the chocolate syrup, Mom. That's okay. Just try and pay more attention to what's going on around you. All right. <laughs> Good morning, everyone. Good morning, Bus Driver Bob. Hello, Bus Driver Bob. Hmm, do I smell chocolate? Oh, that's just Kevin. Well, isn't he sweet? <laughs> <laughs> After stepping in that chocolate syrup this morning, I started thinking, maybe my mom was right. There are lots of things that go on all around us every day, so we should always try to pay attention. Good morning, Billy. Hi, bus driver Bob. Hi, Betsy. Hi, Billy. Uh, Billy? What's that on your head? Oh, these are my shorts. Why are you wearing your shorts on your head? Uh, I guess I wasn't paying attention when I got dressed this morning. I guess everybody could stand to pay a little more attention. Good morning, everyone. Good morning, Mrs. O'Connor. Does anyone notice anything different about our classroom today? What do you mean? Oh. I don't know what she's talking about. No. Okay, Betsy, what do you notice? Gingerbread men! The whole room is decorated with gingerbread men! That's right. I've put gingerbread men decorations up all over the classroom today. So, I thought I'd start our day off with a story. This story is called The Gingerbread Boy. Once upon a time, in a faraway land, there lived a baker and his wife. One day, they mixed together all their finest ingredients, including a little bit of magic, and shaped the mixture into a gingerbread boy. They decorated him with raisins for eyes, a licorice whip mouth, and a gumdrop for a nose, and popped him into the oven to bake. As it baked, the gingerbread smelled so good that the baker couldn't resist opening the oven to take a peek. But when he did, something magical happened. Ooh. The gingerbread boy hopped out of the oven and began running all around the bakery shop shouting, Chase me! Chase me! It's what I enjoy, but you won't catch me. I'm the gingerbread boy. The gingerbread boy ran down the street right past a policeman. Come here and let me eat you, he bellowed. But the gingerbread boy only laughed and said, Chase me, chase me. It's what I enjoy, but you won't catch me. I'm the gingerbread boy. The policeman then began running after the gingerbread boy, too, followed by the baker and his wife. Before long, the gingerbread boy ran by a schoolhouse. When all the children smelled the delicious gingerbread boy... Come here! I see you! That's right. Scott, what do you think the gingerbread boy said to that? Chase me! Chase me! I'm the gingerbread boy! That's right! You're all certainly paying attention. With all those people chasing him, the gingerbread boy started to get very tired. Oh, he needs to find a place to hide. Yeah, 
for some really good running shoes. The gingerbread boy soon found himself in a lovely neighborhood filled with big, beautiful houses. Looking inside the window of one of the houses, the gingerbread boy saw a beautifully decorated gingerbread house on a table inside the home of a little girl named Carol Ann. So he quickly slid himself under the door of the house and climbed up onto the table and hid himself inside the gingerbread house. All the children, their teacher, the policeman, the baker, and his wife all came running by. One little boy said, I guess he ran away. It seemed that the gingerbread boy had outsmarted everyone. However, Carol Ann had seen everything and always paid attention to things going on around her. She saw the gingerbread boy hide inside her gingerbread house. Quietly, she crept up to the table and reached inside the gingerbread house. The second Carol Ann touched the gingerbread boy, the gingerbread boy magically turned back into what he was always meant to be, a delicious gingerbread cookie. The end. Now, how would everyone like to help me make a gingerbread man cookie as part of our classroom gingerbread decorations? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Fabulous! I love cooking. And making a gingerbread boy sounded like a lot of fun. Here comes the molasses. I just love the smell of cinnamon. And these other spices smell good, too. That's the ground ginger and nutmeg. Mm. Is this enough flour, Mrs. O'Connor? That's perfect, Betsy. After the batter was mixed, Kenji and Scott rolled the dough out on the counter. Then Mrs. O'Connor took a sharp knife and shaped the cookie dough into a gingerbread boy. There, that should do it. Now all we have to do is pop him in the oven and let him bake. <laughs> Let's go back to our classroom. Mrs. Schmidt, the cafeteria lady, will make sure he doesn't burn. Back in the classroom, we built a gingerbread house out of cardboard. We were having fun. Mrs. Schmidt, the cafeteria lady, came running into our classroom. Are you sure? Children, Mrs. Schmidt was just here, and she told me that when she opened the oven to check on our gingerbread boy, the gingerbread boy came to life and ran away. Oh, well, that's impossible, isn't it? The gingerbread boy even left a note. What does it say, Mrs. O'Connor? I'm the gingerbread boy, and I just want to say I like Lakeshore School, and I might like to stay. Pay close attention. My next clue will be found where boys and girls like to monkey around. What do you think, Betsy? All I do know is that we need to be paying attention to what's going on around us, so we won't miss the next clue. Yeah, yeah, that's yeah, yeah, yeah. What did he write in the last part of the clue he left? Um, he said, my next clue will be found where boys and girls like to monkey around. Well, we play all over the playground. Where do we look first? The monkey bars. That's where kids like to monkey around. And there it is, our next clue. I'll get it. Here you go, Betsy. What does it say? Hmm, too many big words for me. We need to find a grown-up. Oh, look, there's Principal Warner. Good gravy, why are you children in such a big hurry? We just discovered a note from a missing gingerbread boy. Is that so? Where did you find it? On the monkey bars. Would you read it to us, please? All right. Uh, 
This place was too drafty. I did not like its looks. I think I'll move someplace that has lots of books. The school library! Thank you, Principal Warner. Shh. Excuse me, Miss Monroe. Have you seen a gingerbread boy? Shh. Whoops. Sorry. Well, I think I saw a gingerbread boy in the storybook section. I found another note. Shh. Whoops. Sorry. What does it say, Betsy? Hmm. We better bring it to Miss Monroe. It says, I don't belong here. I'm shy as a mouse. What I like to find is a gingerbread house. He's gone to a classroom. To the gingerbread house we built. What are we waiting for? Let's go. Shh. Whoops. Sorry. Thank you, Miss Monroe. Oh, you're very welcome. Bye. <gasps> Shh. Whoops. Sorry. Did everyone enjoy recess? We sure did. We were all over the school. Following clues. Just like detectives. Or spies. And we think we solved the mystery of the missing gingerbread boy. Well now, where do you think the gingerbread boy is hiding? Gingerbread Boy cookies. And one final note. What does the note say, Mrs. O'Connor? It says, I brought you some cookies, so eat and enjoy as I leave this last lot for each girl and each boy. Keep both your eyes open and school will be fun. 